Hi guys, my name is Victor Rojo. I'm Partner Solutions Architect. And I'm going to present you some demos related to uh, machine learning in the contact center, contact center intelligence and conversational AI. The idea is to show you three different use cases that contact center intelligence covers. One is the self-service virtual agents. The other one is real-time call analytics and agent assist. And the last one is post-call analytics. The one that I will emphasize is, is the use of contact center intelligence for creating chatbots with the partner solutions that we have. And, and the post-call analytics, trying to show you how to uh, do the mining for the audio calls that already existed between a customer and a, and a call center agent. And let's get started with the chatbots. For chatbots, one of the partners that works with AWS is SAP. SAP AI created recently a, a chatbot. Here you can see the interaction. Everything starts with the chatbot asking you for several questions. For example, how to uh, get some details about the, uh, the uh, insurance plans, for example. And in this case, it offers you different, different uh, options. For example, I can ask if I'm covered in this case. Uh, I didn't need to type anything. Uh, I, I got the options and now the chatbot is responding. In this case, I can start typing something else. For example, saying, uh, what is, um, if I, if I in doubt, it will try to autocomplete the different values that, that I can ask. For example, I can ask what is uh, this option, for example, what is this value? And the chatbot will start to look for, for options to offer to the, to the user. And here I can see, for example, the coverage. I can ask other aspects, for example, find a provider. The chatbot will ask me uh, the address, the area, the region where I can, where I want to look for something. I can say here, for example, dentist. And and uh, so far is asking for more questions. Let me let me look for another one. Um, um, dentist, I need um. Let's let's see in Denver or something like that. Let's see the options that it will bring. And here is one. If I if I say for example these ones, it will show me a map and the location where, where this uh, provider is is located. Okay, or I have other options here. For example, I can ask to talk to a representative and the chatbot will deflect the call to, to a live agent. This is one of the features that we have with this, uh, with this uh, solution. The other one I want to show you is uh, Parley. Parley is done by Cation. Cation Consulting is the, the partner that we are working with. And here I can start a chat with them. Here I, I can start typing something. For example, um, I need insurance, and it will start also uh, auto-completing with the options. For example, need help, my car, my car doesn't work. This is for assistance uh, uh, on the uh, to, to car drivers. For example, this is one of the other use cases that we have here. Let's see uh, how it was responding. And here are different options. It, it also includes a video for how to do uh, a verification of the car if something is failing, and also offering options to call the, the agent assistant in, in this case. Uh, something I can put here is um, chat with our agent. And in this case, it will deflect a call with an agent to get the assistance that I need. Here I can put some aspects, or for example, vehicle issues, my name, uh, Victor, uh, and connect an agent. And in this case, it will it will place a call to start talking with a with an agent 
the agent at this moment is not available, but it's it's part of the of the demo. And the third one that I'm working with is conversations. The the partner is NLX. They presented yesterday a, a, a case with United Airlines, how they are doing. But maybe some people was figuring out how they create the, the demos or, or the solutions. Uh, basically, NLX has two, dif two, two different tools. One is Dialog Studio. Let me show you what you can do in Dialog Studio. In Dialog Studio, you can build you, your chatbot without coding and uh, by defining different, different aspects of the bot. Here in this side, you have the bot definition, the intense definition, the slots, the variables, and, and uh, additional tools that you can use to analyze the, the behavior of your chatbot. In this case, let's enter, for example, to, to this chatbot that was previously created. It has different intents. If we click on this intent, for example, I can see different training phrases, what a user could say to trigger this, this intent. And we also have, I, I will go back to the, to the chatbot, we have integrations in this case, this partner offers integrations with Amazon Connect, for example. And there are other options that appear here, for example, with Alexa, uh, with other other providers, and also with social networks like Messenger, Facebook Messenger, in this case. Um, the other option that, this, ha that this, this solution has is known as Voice Compass. Voice Compass will help us to define uh, a flow for the for a certain process and in this flow we can define the stages we can see here uh, initially a dashboard where we can see the the journey that we expect for a user let me show you very quickly the journey definition it includes different actions or a flow that is asking several questions to the to the customer here we can add different languages not only english it supports more languages here. Uh, it is uh, also using a section where we define all of the steps that we need to to, to keep working for with the customer. And we can send notifications via SMS, for example, to start defining the interaction. The multimodal interaction is one of the topics that uh, and trends that we've seen in this type of interactions. And uh, there's another section related to analytics where we can start looking for more information about calls, interactions, etc. At this moment, this dashboard is empty, but well, basically is what I could share with you. And thanks for, for attending this demo session. For more information, don't hesitate on contacting us. Thank you.